Here's a quick video to show you how to stabilize video using free open source software. We're going to be using the terminal, we're going to be using Homebrew, we're going to be using FFmpeg and also a uh, video stabilization called VidStab Transform. Alright, first thing you want to do is install Homebrew if it's not already. I'll just give you a quick one. Google Homebrew. Head over to brew.sh grab that command right there, copy it, head over to terminal, paste it in and run it. All right, that's how you install Homebrew. The next step is to install FFmpeg with the libvidstab, lib, lib get that out. So the command is brew, install FFmpeg, dash dash with libvidstab. Great. Now, if you've already got FFmpeg installed, you just put a brew reinstall in there and that'll get it done. That will take a couple of minutes. Once that's done, we can get on to the real work. All right, the first thing to know is that you're going to be doing two passes on your video file. I've got one here called Aussies. Just take a quick look. Very shaky. Just recorded handheld with uh, the Hyperlapse app. So what we're going to do is do a pass over it first to actually put the um, shakiness data into a file. So we'll start with FFmpeg, just tab autocomplete, and the input is Aussies, same as any FFmpeg command. Then what we're going to do is do video transform and then vid stab detect, god that's hard to say, dash F space null space. Thank you very much for the Easter egg. All right, where were we? All right, so this will create a uh, transformation file. Let's just run that. So you can see in whatever folder you were in. So I was in my downloads folder in terminal. It's created transforms.trf. That's going to have the, the shakiness data from the video file. Now, just running it like I did, it's created it with default options. Um, but there are lots of options you can play with. Just check out the website for libvidstab. There we go, that's finished. Now the next thing you want to do is process the video file using that transformation file. So ffmpeg input is Aussies vidstab transform. God, got it that time. And you want to do input file equals. Let's try that again. Input file equals transforms.trf. And then the name of the output file. So we put Aussies stabilized dot. What is it? It's a mov. And set that off. You can see it's already started creating the file here, so let's just wait until that's finished. Mm, that's done. All right, let's see if we can compare the two. Left is unstabilized, right is stabilized. You can see the right version, just with the default settings, is a lot smoother than the one on the left. And that's stabilizing video with free open source software. Thanks for watching.